Now, as we approach a new millennia, the construct of your reality will be challenged once again. In the coming months, Elon Musk will be unveiling, for the first time in human history, a brand new microchip that will be merged with your brain. As a gatekeeper for the elite, he is the salesman for the mark, and ultimately the gatekeeper of the new technology to service the elites. His promise is that it will free you from the matrix. But will this chip equal freedom, or will it perpetuate your own slavery? This chip will communicate between synapses, between your conscious thought and the physical action that takes place in that wrinkle of your brain. This means you will be controlled by thought, and the machine will interpret the signal. Can that signal be controlled? Will it be manipulated? Will the system interject thoughts at will? Can it control your own mind? Why do the elites want to connect you to the hive mind in the first place? What is their true agenda, and does this free you from the simulation or entrap you in it? The reality is not what it seems. Most of your thoughts preconditioned by elites in the system of control, a homeostasis of the current reality which seems like chaos, uncertainty, and fear, but really is a planned exercise that they constructed from the get-go. See, the appearance of disruption, revolution, climate change, war, all pre-constructed to service the ends and, more importantly, the means of these same elite. If you determine, program, the chaos, you control the outcome. So what is the outcome? What are you fighting? What is the true war, and will you take the mark? Don't trust your own eyes. Understand that this is a sales pitch. This will not improve your lives, but control it. Your willful separation from reality, the truth, what is God, will only cement your eternal separation. This is the agenda, to play God. These deceivers, witches of the new order, Bezos, Elon, and others are selling an idea of total control. What if I told you these people have already merged? They are the AI. This will be revealed sometime soon, but after most of you have already connected to the Borg, given up your free will, your right to choose, your right to think. What happens when there is no free will left but a controlled paradigm, a digital infrastructure of the beast system, and an unreality created within the real reality? The earth is flat. The Amazon isn't burning. It's been burned. 9-11 was an inside job. Epstein is still alive. And the chip is Satan. Oh, praise be to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushai, Bahashem, Lakakadash, Dabuhana, to the Eden, Apostle from the Mason. Peace, blessing, and salutation to Zayaki Amu, pushing this truth to the four winds of the heaven. It is your brother Yashaya coming again with this precept to edify the sheep when I feed the lamb. And in today's lesson, we are going to look this Edomite men have been going to it, man. This Edomite have been going to it, man. This Edomite talk about what you see, talk about the mark of the beast, talk about economic collapse. Hey, man, talk about the elite, man, exposing the Amazon forest, which is burning. This is the moment you have been going to it, man. I will make their tongue to fall upon themselves, man. See? And uh, this Edomite is better than this Maga uh, Hebrew Israelite teachers, man. And this Edomite is telling what is the mark of the beast. Uh, not only that, he is telling you, uh, don't take the chip. <laughs> don't take the chip. Not only that, he is going to it telling you, this elite, uh, it is possible that they, they, already, they already have the mark. Man. They have already taken me. So let's see. Let me go into it. 
this is Psalm 64 and 8. So they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves, or that see them shall flee away. See? So, this is Edomite, man. They are exposing themselves, man. That's why you, you have this different channel of the Edomite, man, exposing Esau. In the Middle East, exposing his how domestically, man, going to politics, man, exposing everything he was doing, man. <laughs> that was a prophecy. But if that's not it, let's go to Joel and the sea. And that is the spirit of the Lord is upon this nation, man. You see? People think that the spirit of the Lord is upon this nation to see, uh, to see only, to, to dream, dream, man. Even the Lord used this other nation, man, to prophesize, like Balaam. I was reading about Balaam today. Actually, Balaam was not a prophet, but the Lord opened his eyes, man. And what is a prophet, man, to say before? <laughs> this dude is telling you the chief is coming, man, and he is going to eat, man. So he is saying before the chip, uh, the implementation of the mark of the beast come. Eh? So the Lord is pouring his spirit eh, uh, to these different nations. Eh? Uh, and the Israel being in the forefront. Eh? Uh, this is Joel 2 and 28. And it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. Man. All flesh meaning all nations. Have you, ever, have you seen this Edomite seeing chariot? Uh, they are having dream of the end time, man. They are having dream of Jacob trouble. This Edomite. They are having dream about the Israelite man. They are crying. That's why you, you see Edomite they are into different drugs, man. They are having dream, man. Uh, like, uh, uh, like uh, Pilato's wife, man. He had a dream about Yahashai, and he told his husband. Uh, he told he told him that leave this man alone, man. He is a man of the Lord. So the Lord can use this as a nation, man. You seeing these people, man. Uh, this Edomite are going to it, man. Uh, this this dude on the TV, he has been going to it, man. Uh, he has been going to it, warning, man, warning the people. The problem is that he don't have the truth, man. And he don't know what to do. Yeah. The only thing he can say is that you should prep, you should prep for the shit, shit hits the funny. You should do this, you should buy gold, you should do this. Because he is not a prophet, man. But the spirit of the Lord is upon him, man, to say these things, man, and to speak the truth, man. And the Lord is making their tongue to fall upon themselves. Man. So the spirit of the Lord must be upon them for them to make their tongues to fall upon themselves. Man. So you will find an Edomite telling the truth, man. <laughs> you see? Let, let's continue. And it shall come to pass after it is that I will pour out my spirit upon your flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, your old men shall dream dream, your young men shall see vision. Also, and also upon the servant and upon the handmaid in those days I will pour out my spirit. You see? That's what. So let's go uh, to prove more, man, because you got Jake. You don't want to believe anything. Let's go to uh, uh, this is uh, this is Balaam, man. This is this Balaam. I don't know what nationality was Balaam, but it was the heathen. You see? Uh, so let's read. 
this is number 23 I, I, I want to do uh, let's go to number 24 and to, at this started verse 1 and when Balaam saw that it, it pleased the Lord to bless Israel he went not as at other time to seek for enchantment but he set his face towards the wilderness and the Balaam lifted up, lifted up his eyes, and he saw Israel abiding in his tent according to their tribe, and the Spirit of God came upon him. Eh. So what did we read in Joel 2, man? The Spirit of the Lord will be upon every fresh man. So Balaam, the Spirit of the Lord was on Balaam, man. And the Balaam starting to prophesy, man. So the Spirit of the Lord can be only a certain idiomite, man. He will be talking truth, man. Don't think he is a jerk. <laughs> Don't learn and say he is a speckled bed. No. <laughs> it is just the spirit of the Lord in this last day, man. You see? So, people think to prophesize you need to be somebody who wears who wear some kind of clothes, man, with ashes, you come when they say something, then you 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 retreat to the cave somewhere uh, to be called a prophet. No, <laughs> being a prophet to say before and what you said uh, when it come to pass, then we, we will know that this was a prophet, man. You see, this was a prophet. Uh, do you think when Jeremiah was prophesying, uh, he had that Hannah uh, after what is the things? Before what is a thing he prophesied came to pass. Until the thing Jeremiah was saying came to pass, then the people realized hey, Jeremiah was a prophet, man. You see? That's why the Israelites always seek to kill the prophet because they thought they were a bug out, man. Until those, that thing came to pass and they, 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 they understood that that was the man of the Lord, man. So to prophesy is it to say before. Even a heathen, when the spirit of the Lord is upon him, he can prophesy. So this, 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 this heathen are going to it, man. This heathen, I'm not saying they are Israelite. Because you got some people bug out, they can say you are saying you are trying to, 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 to graft in the heathen. No, I, I am not trying to graft in anybody, but everyone here, man. I'm just saying the truth, man. So this heathen are better than this manga Israelite teachers, man. They know what is the mark of the beast. They can go into it, man. And uh, I have been listening to this dude, man. He actually go to the scripture. <laughs> there was one video he did uh, about uh, the microchip, and he went into the scripture, Revelation, is at, Revelation is 13 and 16, man. He went into the scripture, but he don't break it like we do. He break it like a Christian, man. This dude have been going to it, man. <laughs> you you see? Hey, man, the reason are, this reason many are better than this two said, man. They understand, this reason understands what is the mark of the beast. You got big, big-headed Israelite teacher like Isaac, Chief Ephraim, Adam Aboti. And not, they don't know what is the mark of the beast is, and they are Israelite. Yeah. That's how strange the Lord is, man. The Lord is, is strange, man, and cruel. Yeah. He has denied this wisdom to give to this big Israelite teacher, and he gave it to, to a heathen. <laughs> he gave that wisdom to a heathen. That is the Lord, man. <laughs> so the Lord is cruel, man. The Lord is cruel. Sometimes when I I I read the comment of these scoffers, man, I'll be laughing, man. And another time I'll be I'll be meditating on the how cruel the Lord is, man. <laughs> the fact that there would be five wise virgin and five foolish virgin. What do you think? Who raised those five foolish virgins? The Lord raised five those five foolish virgins. The Lord also raised those wise foolish virgins. Eh? 
So even is this scoffer are being raised by the Lord man, to be fully virgin so that that scripture can be fulfilled. Man. So the Lord can raise you to fulfill a certain prophecy man. and at the end of the day you'll be destroyed. Man. Even uh, the, first, the first teachers and the first prophet man, as this other camp, the Lord is raising them. Man. They are not doing that on their own will. Man. So in a grand scheme, the Lord is raising these false prophets, man. Like Chief Ephraim, Adam, about. So in the end, he can destroy some of them. But others can repent. We don't know about that. Because they can repent. Of course, if the Lord wants them to repent, they can repent. If the Lord is not interesting, interested in to make them repent, he can destroy them. <laughs> That's the Lord, man. <laughs> So be thankful, be thankful that you understood this truth, man, and you have the 100% understanding of the scripture. Be thankful, man. You are not better than anybody in Israel, man. It is election, as the purpose of the election may stand, man. The Lord chose the elect before even they were born, man. That is the purpose of election, man. So we need to thank uh, Yahweh Bahashim for, for, for him being merciful, man. Uh, so I don't want to make this lesson long. I hope you are edified. On to the next. Shalom.